What's good guys, it's Ida, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. My aim on this channel is to teach you how to become hairdresser free, how to do your own hair in the comfort of your own home. So make sure to turn on that notification bell so you can be notified every time I post. So I did a length check recently and I believe on the length check I accidentally wrote that it was June when in reality it was right at the beginning of July and my mind was still in June. Anyways, that's besides the point. Since then, I've been really thinking about what I used to do back in the day, you know, like way back, back in the time when before I had my hair relaxed and I wanted to have my hair long for when I straightened it, it would like reach past my collarbone down here. Um, I was using this product called Virgin. Now guys, Virgin is one of those things that we used to use, like me and one of my best friends used to use this in the hopes to grow our hair. And I just remember it having this real strong, like pepperminty smell and it not helping my hair grow at all. So I thought, why not test it now? Just to see whether the problem was the actual product not making my hair grow or was it length retention? Because I have a feeling that the back of my hair breaks off quite a bit. Obviously not as much as it used to because I know how to look after my hair a lot more now. But the plan is to basically test out this product for a month and come in every like 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30, 30, come in every few days to have a little check to see how much my hair has grown. So instead of going through a whole other length check, I'm just going to use those figures from my length check video. Oh snap, the longest point is 9 inches. Eight inches. Seven, seven inches. Four to the end, which is here. Flipping neck. Guys, it's down near 10 inches. And we're gonna compare it each week to what my hair was like. So this is what the box looks like. Apparently there's a few different knockoffs, but this is the one that I'm used to getting at the hair shop. So let's get into what the box says. Virgin hair fertilizer, anti-dandruff and hair conditioning cream for rapid and healthy hair growth. And it is distributed by a company in Nigeria. So when we open the box, oh, the price by the way, was £2.99p and I've got it from PAX. So, opening it this is what it looks like all dusty and nasty this is the tub mm. so this is 125 grams of the hair fertilizer and it says that the ingredients are herbal extract petroleum jelly which i'm not excited about peppermint oil lalolin and fragrance so the Petronia jelly, um, I'm not excited to be putting that in my hair, to be honest with you. Um, I mainly just use shea butter and olive oil on my hair and water most of the time. So that is something that I'm not too excited about. Obviously, this is an experiment. Um, <laughs> I'm really like, uh, do I really want to put this on my head? But the instructions are not on the actual bottle the instructions are on the box and it says to apply a massage virgin hair fertilizer into your hair and scalp every day comb and style as desired for healthy strong and natural looking hair the part i'm looking forward to the most is opening it and having that smell you know when nostalgia just hits you in the face that's what i'm looking forward to so you open it up and then you just pierce the cup Oh my God. Ooh. Ooh. You know what? It's not actually as strong as I remember it being. It used to be really like pepperminty. Now it's more of a subtle smell. I guess that's the new and improved recipe. It's like a hint of it. It's not as like pow, peppermint. So I'm just gonna put this at the back of my hand because I'm not going to waste that. And I'm just going to moisturise my hair, detangle it because your girl has not been looking after it. Like literally, yeah, it needs help. Ooh. 
just some shea butter mixed with olive oil. Can you hear that? Oh, I can make some ASMR in it. <laughs> Let's just quickly moisturize it. And now I'm gonna go through individually anyway. So what am I doing this right now? God only knows. I usually work from the back to the front, but so that you guys can see, I'm gonna come closer to the cam. So I'm just gonna section off my hair. And my scalp be staying dry because I don't really, I don't, I don't cream it. I can't lie. I don't moisturize my scalp. I'm not going to act like I do. I don't. This is how it's looking right now. It's starting to melt a bit. Oh, this is quite satisfying to watch. Isn't it? Let me come closer. For petroleum jelly, it does feel quite light surprisingly enough we'll see if my husband notices the smell i don't think it will affect him that much so i'm using a shea butter mixture shea butter and olive oil then we're gonna go in oh i'm feeling the back of my hair starting to tingle it's tingling You know what, my edges, that's what's going to need help. My edges, let me just go there right now. Put it all on there. <laughs> Massage that in. And then, just going to go down in the line, I guess. Like how when my mum used to do my hair for me. And she used to do all this nice parting and moisturising with the coconut oil. Me, I don't do that stuff. Ooh, look how dry your girl's scalp is. Cool, blimey. This video couldn't have come at a better time. My scalp is like, save me, save me. Oh, damn it. Ooh. Oh, there's a crusty bit right there. There's that section. Miss it. Oh. Feels very, very good. No, I think even just the massage is gonna make my hair grow. Let's listen to this. <sighs> and then I'm just gonna should I twist it or play? Oh, twisting it so much quicker. But I feel like plaiting it will make it grow faster. And that's what I think. But if I'm doing this every day, twisting it. Let's just twist it. Twist it. Twist it. My hair is looking nice. I tell you earlier today it was dry but just doing this simpleness look how much hair just came out of my head you see that <laughs> too much hair so i get a lot of people complimenting my hair thank you very much i think the lighting helps a lot and when my hair is moist it looks super healthy um, maybe it is healthy but i feel like once it's moisturized like even just spraying it and just adding some oil in it or some shea butter it looks really good so I think that's deceiving people. I mean, my hair is not unhealthy. Oh, my hair is tingling. Like, I'm just feeling it going chuka 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 chuka. Pepperminty. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know. <laughs> so I've done half my head already and my head is tingling. My hand is tingling from having this on my hand. Hey, hey, hey. So um, whilst part in the back, I'm wondering to myself, how do people oil their scalp at the back? Because I feel like I'm just putting it on my hair rather than on the actual partings because we can't see nothing, can't see anything. So I'm just there like, yeah, mm, put it there, see what happens. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's like tingling, like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, that's what I'm feeling in my scalp. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm also getting my nape, so my edges and the nape to make sure they both grow because that is where it needs to grow the most. So I'll tell you, this is the most TLC my hair has received in a very, very, in years. So I was saying before, the last time I used this hair product was probably about 12 years ago. And that was when I was, my main goal was to just get the back of my hair to pass my collarbone. 
and I don't even know if I was using it on the rest of my hair. I was literally just trying to get that back bit to grow, to grow, to grow, and it wasn't growing anywhere. But right now, I feel like my hair has grown past that point, and it's only been two years of growing it. So my hair grows fast, but it doesn't grow long. I feel like it just stops completely. So that's why I'm using this to see if that's true or whether it will grow longer than that. Because now it's just, it's just here. It's just up to my collarbone. We'll see. We'll see if this product works wonders. There's like bits in it when you're doing it, but I don't know if it's my scalp that I'm feeling like dry scalp or bits of the peppermint or something in the product. I'm not sure. It's like little crunchy things. The way that my scalp is feeling is that there's just flashes of like tingle that's coming and going. It just reminds me of, you know, when you have like a chewing gum like a peppermint chewing gum then you drink water or something and it has this kind of a feeling like too fresh too 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 fresh or you just brush your teeth and you drink some water and it's just way too strong my head like i don't know if it's the wind or some something happens and it just like whoo, and i can just feel this pepperminty sensation but yeah i'm done now and this is day one today is the 16th of july 2020 um a quick length check so i'm not actually going to do a proper length check right now we're doing just past collarbone for the back of my hair the front of my hair ooh, and it's like this it's like chin it's like chin right now like in these in these twists obviously i'm going to do proper length checks later on but like i said before i'm just going to use the length check that I did for my two years since Big Chop video as this length right now because I'm pretty sure it's grown maybe a centimetre or two since then and then I'm just gonna do updates videos every five days until we get to a month to see if my hair really has grown within this one month. Alright guys let me just cut this here there's no need for an outro so peace. <laughs>